Hey, good morning. All right, sorry, I'm gonna adjust my phone there. I'm trying something new. All right, I am not a morning person, if you guys know me at all. I like to stay up late, and I don't like to get up in the morning. I can sleep till 10 a.m. <laughs> but I've been realizing I've been really needing more time in the morning to get some important things done. And so I decided to get up at five in the morning and you know shower and now I'm doing my personal development in the morning and so I thought I'd just pop on to keep me accountable and maybe some of these things will help you as well welcome Stacy and share just a few little things hey Dustin that I learned um, today this morning when I woke myself up all right so uh, one thing that you know stood out to me in what I was studying today is like who's the boss of your brain um, is fear the boss of your brain or are you the boss of the brain? And I know that can sometimes be hard to know because we have so many automatic thoughts that we don't really always realize what we're thinking. Um, so there's, there's this really easy way to figure that out is, uh, so the first thing is what's the thought? Is it, I can't, if it is, it leads to emotion, which is doubt. And then the action, it's going to stop you. And the result is failure. Now, when you choose, I can for your thought, the emotion is going to be confidence, the action is going to be go, and the result is going to be success. Now, the important point that really stood out to me, hey, is choosing. We get to choose. Um, I think sometimes we just think our emotions are our emotions, right? Uh, and But we can choose to believe that you can do whatever it is you're going to do. And um, because we have so many thoughts that happen and it's not always easy to, because women especially, we have like 85,000 thoughts <laughs> or something like that and like 90% of them are negative. And so you may not even realize that you have a negative thought because it happens so quick, just like that, it's automatic. Um, but you can tell by how you feel. And so where do you lie on the emotional scale? And I got this really cool chart from my coach that goes over that. So here, let me just briefly share what's negative on the very far end, like negative 10 is desperation. Then you're moving up hopelessness, helplessness, anger, fear, resentment, doubt, which is where most women hang out. We hang out in doubt. I know for me, before I started my business, I was in doubt all the time. Um, and it's still something I struggle with all the time, which is why I do personal development <laughs> as much as I can. Uh, overwhelm, impatience, frustration, and then the, you're reaching neutral where you don't have any feeling whatsoever. Um, to get to the positive, you'll know you're the boss of your brain when you're feeling these things. Hope, confidence, knowing, optimism, appreciation, expectation, love, joy, passion, and bliss. And so the, the interesting thing is when you have those negative emotions, it's like adding weight to your shoulders. You know, it weighs you down so you can't get done what you really want to get done. And by releasing those and learning to be aware of your emotions and learning how to shift your emotions from the negative to the positive emotion side, it's going to give you the power to accomplish your goals, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, because automatically, whenever we choose something, because I mean, I have big dreams and goals, as soon as you make a goal, your brain starts sabotaging you and fear is going to kick in. But the important thing was to remember you can choose. That is so powerful. We do not have to be a victim to our emotions. And now there are ways, I'm not gonna get into it, there are ways to shift that because it's not, I mean, it can seem daunting, right? When you feel doubt, when you feel fear, it can feel paralyzing and it can, it makes you feel like, you know, there's no hope, right? Um, especially when you anchor it in and you have repeated failures. But the truth is we can choose, we can choose. And there are definite, you know, I have a mindset coach that helps me and tools that help me. Um, and those things, if I choose to use them, I can shift out of that feeling. And so that is the thing I thought I'd share today is that we have a choice. And so, I mean, evaluate yourself. What do you feel? Are you feeling any of those negative emotions? Then fear is the boss of your brain. And that is the automatic, um, that's like your autopilot. That's the natural state of being is fear and avoidance. That's the default. And so unless you actively become aware, you will remain in the default, which means fear is the boss of your brain. And so to become aware, you have to become aware of your emotions and pay attention and to begin to shift that energy. All right. So that's all I wanted to share. My kids are going to be getting up <laughs> and I need to get them to school, but I'm going to try and do this Monday through Friday. Um, and I'm excited about it because this is one of my bad habits is my poor sleep schedule. 
And I think by learning to shift this, it's going to help shift my energy as well. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.